first calendula blooms of the season and the most champion behind it. I'm so excited I have calendula this year. chips is a really effective way to fill a bed, a raised bed really quickly. Um, here we have some wood, chip, um, wood chips that have come from our wood chip pile and what I'm going to do is just put it inside of the bed. I wanted to put it on the lower part of the bed first and then fill it with the amended soil on top um, and then the wood chips are just going to break down over time. Today's planting day and I have in front of me cauliflower. Let's get it planted. So here I have the bed that I've been working on. This is where I'm going to plant the cauliflower. But first, before I get the cauliflower planted, I'm going to go ahead and plant out some of my tomatoes. I have some Roma, some San Manzano, I have a striped tomato, um, and different varieties here. And I'm going to go ahead and sow them. I've already tilled and amended my soil, and I've made raised mounds here. I've placed some cardboard down because we just had a really, really heavy rain, so the soil is really, really moist. And I'll also put wood chips on top of that, and so that'll make a really nice pathway for these rows. When I'm planting out my tomatoes, I like to take off the first set of leaves because they can root from the stem. So to give them a really good rooting system, I like to plant them really deep and they're going to do just fine. They're going to spring up, they're going to really take off. So don't be afraid to take off the first set or the second set depending on how large your transplants are and plant them really deep. They'll get a really good root system and get really established in the ground or in your container. And to finish the tomatoes off after planting, I'm going to apply some organic fertilizer of 12, 10, 5 tomato and vegetable garden plant food. I'm just going to sprinkle a handful around each plant and I'm going to water them in well. Alright, so far I've gotten all of the cauliflower lined up. They are about 12 inches apart. So I'm going to run the red mustard um, on both sides from the middle of these plants. So we have some really strong ones that are doing 
really well and then we had some that I didn't realize they didn't have holes at the bottom of the cup and so they they didn't get as large like like that one right there um, but other than that and then there's another small one over there didn't have a hole at the bottom so that's why drainage is very important you can you know kill the plant like this video if you like it and i hope you do subscribe if you're new and share this video if you want to and i will see you on our next video guys bye Don't forget to subscribe!